There's a big fish. Oh my god. here at a pond this morning again that I was at a couple of weeks ago and I caught a bunch of fish out of it but there was really no size to any of them but I do know that there is some big fish living in here so I'm back here today to try to get on some big ones or at least a big one and it uh, it rained last night pretty good and the wind blew pretty hard so I imagine the water is fairly stained, so I'm throwing a spinnerbait here this morning, a white and chartreuse. Well, I don't know, I can actually see my bait pretty darn good, so maybe the water wasn't affected as much as I thought, so I might just switch it up here to a, a swim bait or something more natural. Not sure I need this loud spinner bait this morning. I am here a little bit later than I would have liked to have been. The traffic was pretty crazy this morning for some reason. On some parts where it's usually not, but anyway, just a little before work trip here again. Try to get on some here real quick. Last time that feeding frenzy happened right here, that fountain was going, and that fountain's not even on yet, so it's definitely quite a bit earlier than I started getting bit really good last time. They don't always feed just really good first thing in the morning. Sometimes it actually is delayed a little bit for whatever reason. Don't give up on your reaction baits so quickly is my advice. I know a lot of people that throw reaction baits for just a few casts or just a few minutes and then go throwing a worm the rest of the day. But in my opinion reaction bites are the way to go most of the time. If you want to maximize your numbers and size. I know a lot of people's confidence bait is a finesse set up and I'd say I'm quite confident in a finesse setup too when I can't get bit at all, but I don't know. I'm starting to get a, quite a bit of confidence in this rattle trap as well. And I've always had confidence in a spinner bait, crank bait, and definitely a top water, so it served me well not to throw plastics very much. There's one. Feels pretty small. Definitely not the kind we're looking for. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go on with your bad self. Oh yeah. Come here little bass. Oh. Oh yeah. Whew. Okay. Now you can stop. That was cool while you were in the water. Now you can stop that stuff. All right, all right, all right. To get this little dude unhooked here, it was not happening with my fingers. I just couldn't get the angle on it. So anyway, there's the first little fish on the rattle trap. Thank you for playing, little buddy. 
like I was saying earlier that fountain wasn't quite on yet but there it is Let's see if that does anything for our bite or if maybe that's just the timing of it they just like to eat around the time that this fountain comes on maybe Oh, oh wow, there's a nice one. Oh no, dang it, dang it, dang it. That was a nice one right in front of me. Golly, I was just about to give up on that cast and start pulling it out of the water. That fish crushed it right in front of me. God, that was a good one. I don't know how good, I'd say I don't know, that was at least probably like three pounds, but maybe even a little better. Golly, that was a good fish. He smashed it. He stopped my rod and then was fighting real hard till he came off. Goodness gracious. And this right here is one of the major reasons. There's several reasons, but this is one of the major reasons. I don't tell people about my spots. They just leave trash everywhere. These are youth fishing kit rods here. So somebody's just taking the little kit out here and then leaving their trash. Here's a ball of line right here too. All in this grass. That's the problem with telling people about your spots a lot of times. Not the only reason, but that's a big reason. And people say, oh, I just want to take my little kid out there to catch some perch or whatever. Yeah. And then leave your trash out there. So, that's why I do not say the location of many of the spots I fish. There's a big fish. Oh my, oh no! Gosh, dang it! Golly! That was something big there. Gosh, that was a giant fish. I'm not sure that was a bass, but if that was, that was huge. Whatever it was, it was huge. But, I mean, golly, I can't imagine what else it was. I think that was a bass, unless I foul hooked a carp or a catfish or something, but I don't know. Golly, that thing was just running out towards the middle hard and fast. I was not going to be able to stop that fish. And it just popped right off. Golly. I would have definitely liked to have seen whatever that was. Oh no! Golly! There was one on the bullgill now that I missed. Gosh. That one crushed it too, like that one crushed the rattle trap. I don't know what's going on today. Golly. Pretty sure that was another nice one. Especially being on this big swim bait. 
That's over three on big fish today. Going down this bank, doing this program of throwing this rattle trap first, just because it's the more subtle bait. I'm trying to see if I have any takers on this. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw that bull gill a few times. I've gotten bit on both now, so it's telling me I'm doing the right program here, at least. Now I just gotta land one. There's one on the bullgill. Come on, be a good one. Didn't feel too good, but we'll see. Uh, not bad. Oh, golly. There he went. Still haven't landed a fish today. Goodness gracious. That one was almost landed. I probably could have landed him. I could have swung him up here before that last jump but wanted to feel him fight a little bit more but man I'd like to land a fish today a decent one that is I landed that one little tiny one that was a decent fish right there I would have liked to have held on to but man he crushed that swim bait good Ooh. <laughs> that little booger came out of nowhere. Ate it right in front of me. I saw him come from the side. That was cool. Oh, don't hook me now, dude. Of course, I land the little tiny guys. Can't get a hand on anything decent. Jeez. That was definitely a cool little bite, though. I saw him shoot from the side right there, right in front of me, and eat it. There's a nice one. Oh no, he's not nice. Just ate it hard. <laughs> Saw that one shoot from the bank and eat it. That first one shot from the deeper side. That one shot from the bank. That was cool. <laughs> little dude hit the bull gill right there <laughs> that was a real small fish for this size of bait was a little dude eating that big swim bait though <laughs> that's crazy they'll do that do that but they definitely will I'm hearing some thunder in the distance there there's definitely some more rain and thunderstorms coming. Should kick up this bite here. A little prefrontal action. Wow. It's a wild storm line coming in right there. Looks cool. Probably about to rain on me a little bit though.
there. He's a little dude, so of course I'll catch him. While his big brothers and sisters still swim out there without me holding them. Thank you for playing, little buddy. Yep, here comes the rain. Hopefully that'll kick off the bite a little bit. I know I keep saying that, but... It really does tend to help. All the things that I've said so far. Another little dude on the rattle trap. Comes right to me, no problem. Little tiny guy. Uh oh. That was lightning. I'm not not really down for lightning. Not a fan of that. I know lightning, water, and fiberglass do not go good together. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go sit in my car and try to wait this out. <laughs> I definitely don't want to get hit by any of that lightning. Let's see what the radar looks like here. See if it looks like it's gonna clear out anytime soon. Let's see what the hourly says first of all. Yeah. Doesn't look like until about 11, which is about an hour and a half from now. Oh! Oh, okay. Well, nope, that solves it for me. That's a, that's a big no. I, I ain't hanging around with all that going on. I am out of here.